So tell me now, just exactly how do I do that? That's what we'll talk about today with Bible Time. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me for Bible Time. So today's question is one that really kind of made me think for a moment. It's not something I could pick up the Bible and just say, look here, this is what the Bible says. But this one, it does need to be answered. And that is, how do I establish a relationship with God? And you know, we hear about it in churches. We hear about it on YouTube, on television. Just about anyone who preaches the word of God tells you, have a relationship with God. But the fact that I get this question makes me wonder if sometimes we fall short and explaining just how do we have a relationship with God? We don't see him. We can't touch him. We can't smell him. We can't put on his clothing and say, oh, that's God. No, we can't do that. Because those things are all physical. And God is a spirit. He is spiritual. God is something we cannot see, taste, touch, hear, Okay, all those things we can. We can see, we can taste and see, we can hear, we can touch, we can even sometimes smell, but not in the sense that you think of like you and me. But what I'm saying is we get in touch with him in our faith. We are made up of a body, a soul, and a spirit. And our spirit and his spirit get connected through the Holy Spirit when we believe. So the first thing is you've got to believe. Okay, you believe in God, believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sins that you commit that you don't even realize you commit, you may think you're a great person, but being great isn't how you get to heaven. It's by believing that Jesus died for your sins. He was the sacrifice. He was the one who who died in your place. If you got a speeding ticket and you go into a courtroom and the judge says, uh, you don't owe anything, someone paid your speeding ticket for you, that's what Jesus did with your sins. Okay, so when you believe that and you tell God, hey, I believe this in my heart and I confess it with my mouth. And then when you call upon the name of the Lord, you're saved. Okay, that's how you establish the relationship. But from there, it's praying. It's when you pray, you're talking to God, though you don't see him, but you know he's there. You believe you already believe you just said you believe. So now believe that when you pray, he hears your prayer. And when you do it, When you talk to him, it's just like talking to anybody else. Think of someone you have a relationship with, a parent, a child, a friend, a co-worker, maybe um, a spouse, a cousin, someone that you just met yesterday on the street and you want to try to go see him again tomorrow. That's a relationship. We sometimes we take relationships and we we give them a bad name because maybe we've had a bad relationship or maybe we've been hurt in a relationship or maybe we haven't had a good relationship with our earthly father. There's many people like that and they just can't understand the concept of a loving father in heaven. But God is not human. So whenever kind of relationship you have, you can have that with God talking to him. And and here's what I always tell people. Listen, okay. If you want to say, God, was that you? How do I know that you really just told me X? Well, if you ask that question, he's going to make sure you know it was him. You might hear something on the radio. You might go to church and hear it in a sermon. You might turn on YouTube and see it in a video. I have had people share my Facebook post and people reply underneath it. This is perfect timing. This is exactly what I was asking God. Okay, God used me to answer someone else's question. I didn't know that. But that established or built up that relationship with that person, between that person and God. And that's what God's trying to do. He wants to reach out to you and pull you in so that not only will you understand him, but see, as this relationship grows, you grow. The things that you used to do, you no longer want to do. And it's not like, oh, I just became a Christian. I can't go bowling with the guys Friday night because everybody drinks. No, God never said that. Go drink with the guys Friday night. But, you know, in a year or two, when you get closer to God, you might not want to do it. And the guys will just have to understand, you know, or maybe it's something like, you know, you might stop saying derogatory words. You might stop talking about people behind their backs. You might stop lying. You might stop cheating. Whatever it is, as you grow in relationship with God, these things just kind of melt away. So 
to answer the question, how do I establish it? You just simply go to God and say, God, look, it's time. You and me, I want to be best buds, BFFs, or BGF, best God forever. <laughs> you know, you just simply go to God. And when you say to me, but I can't see him, I can't hear him, I can't touch him, I can't smell him, I can't taste him. Right. It's called faith. And faith is believing in what you cannot see and knowing in your heart that it's real. So go to God in faith and boom, you have a relationship. Just like the first time you meet a friend, it starts out with a conversation and I bet it's awkward. Your spouse, if you remember back to your, when you first started a relationship with your spouse, I bet it was awkward. It was for me. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I said to her. But do this. And it grows and it gets better just like any other relationship. And things start to change. And it will change your life forever. And you'll never look back. You'll never want to go back. And if you do start to fall back, he'll bring you back to, around again. God is so loving. He doesn't look at what we do or have done. He looks at who we are. And that's enough for him to say, you're worthy. I want to be a part of your life. And I want you to be with me forever. So start that relationship today. It's only a prayer away. That's your Bible time for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon. And God bless you all. Thank you.